I was just very pleased that I was there. I can say I was there at half past seven on the 6th of June, 1944. The dawn of June the 6th comes up like thunder over the invasion coast. John Roberts is now 99, but remarkably remembers every detail of the D-Day landings, the largest seaborne invasion in history, which marked the start of the campaign to free Europe from the Nazis, 79 years ago when he was just 20. I could just see, uh, eight miles ahead, the French coast. And that made an impact on me because we were fighting for France uh, and I'd been at war for three or four years, uh, but I'd never seen the French coast before. He was serving in the Navy, firing shells at German troops on Sword Beach, all the time knowing their ship could come under attack. There was suddenly a great explosion and the destroyer that was about a thousand yards on the port side of ours towards La Havre was torpedoed and uh, within two or three minutes it broke in half and was uh, like a big V and then sank. I survived the war. I've been so lucky and I know so many other people who weren't lucky. Remembering them uh, I feel is a part of uh, my life uh, and uh, I will go on doing it as long as I'm alive. To express the hope that you'll buy at least one of the poppies made by men wounded in the last and the present wars to commemorate Remembrance Day. And since 1921, the poppy, which was initially made from silk, has been adopted as a symbol of remembrance. I made it to the Queen to give them royal encouragement. This year, already a quarter of a million poppies have been sent to our fighting forces overseas. Starting life at this mill in Cumbria, the poppy paper is made from recycled cardboard coffee cups, which is then dyed red, before being printed at this factory in Kent. And for the first time ever, the poppy is 100% paper and completely plastic-free, having been redesigned after 28 years. Put your glasses on, see if we can spot you. And for John, the memories of D-Day are more vivid than ever. Despite being nearly 100, John's turned his hand to acting and appears alongside Michael Caine in the film The Great Escaper. And I said, Michael, you and I have something in common. We, were, we both have the Korean medal. And uh, that took him back because nobody else had said that to him. Here's Michael Caine walking down the street and I had to walk behind him. There I am with a white berry on. I was thinking it was wonderful to have been in this film when I had actually been there myself. On the day, my ship would have been out there, uh, three miles at sea. I had four cousins who died. Uh, I had three mates of mine at Dartmouth uh, who died uh, when their ship was mined and sank. It's my duty never to forget them. That really is what the poppy symbolises, uh, that we're never going to forget those who aren't here anymore. <laughs>